Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I cannot stress enough how important it is to know the language of algebra for your GED test. It's not a hard language, but it is foreign to a lot of you guys, and so you look at math and it looks like gibberish to you. So let's take a look. It says, which inequality could be translated three times the sum of a number P and six is at least 17. Okay, so we want to take this kind of half English, half math, mathglish, if you will, um, phrase here or sentence and turn it into what they call an inequality. So what an inequality is, is it's two mathematical expressions separated by an inequality symbol. Uh, our inequality symbols are less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. And I actually shouldn't say two because sometimes there's more than two, but it's at least two expressions separated by an inequality symbol. Okay. Um, now you have the signal that it your inequality symbol um, is coming up because that's the verb of the sentence. So let's take a look at this sentence here. It says three times the sum of a number P and six is at least 17. Boom, there's that big signal. Boom, that's my separation there. That's my inequality symbol. Is is my verb, so is at least is gonna be my inequality symbol. So let's look at the expression to the left of this. That'll be the expression on the left-hand side of my inequality. It says three times, that's easy, three. Now, times, interesting, we have a couple of different ways we multiply in uh, Algebra, we either multiply by shoving something up against a letter or by putting parentheses between them. And again, but what you're going to notice is uh, there's proximity in both cases. In either case, if you have two things just shoved up against each other with nothing between them, like this, this is multiplication, or if you have two things shoved up between each other and there's only thing between them is parentheses, it's the same thing. They both mean multiplication. Okay, so I'm going to hold off because actually I use the two different times and two different methods. It depends what I'm multiplying by. So let me read the rest of it. It says three times the sum of a number P. I want to take three and times it by an entire Sum. A sum is a mathematical expression. It's like a problem. Okay. So I want to take three and times it up by an entire sum. It is so important that I open up parentheses because um, when I say three times a sum, that means I want to take three times an entire expression, not just one number. So I'm going to use parentheses so that I can do that. Now, what sum is going to go in there? The sum of a number P and six. P plus six, that's how you write the sum of P and six. You write P plus six. Okay, so I wanted to take three and multiply it by this entire sum, so I'm gonna use parentheses, and uh, I so I get parentheses P plus six. Okay, so that's the expression on the left-hand side. Now, let's look at our inequality symbol. It says is at least. So careful, careful, careful students mix this up all day long. All these students always tell me, at least, miss, it must be a less than symbol. Mm, you don't understand what at least means. The phrase at least means I'm okay with being equal to 17. Like at least 17. Um, but I'm not okay with being less than 17. At least 17 means I actually would rather have more than 17. Equals okay, more is even better. And so the uh, phrase at least is going to get translated into a greater than or equal symbol, maybe the opposite of what you'd expect. And then what is it at least? It's at least 17. So there's my expression on the right hand side. Okay, so which one of these problems matches mine? Three times the quantity P plus six, or three times the sum of P and six. Oh, not that one, wrong inequality symbol. There we go, is greater than or equal to 17. So correct answer here is D, D. Great, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.